Tia Coleman is on a journey she believes will provide her and others with purpose. She knows pain and suffering after losing nine members of her family in a duck boat incident back in July 2018 during a family trip in Missouri. Among the dead, her husband and their three children. I literally had people sending me letters and messages and telling me how long I should grieve. How long was that? Um, somebody told me it was a year. I should be a year. Somebody said a year and six months. And it baffled me because I couldn't, I don't believe there's a time limit. She recently began meeting with groups interested mm -hmm. in hearing her message that hope is within reach and healing is possible. I truly believe that God picked me to be the mother of my three, their angels, my three angels now, and, my, and the wife to my husband. I believe he's a God that makes no mistakes, even though sometimes it may feel like it. Our thoughts are not like his. And so that is what I trust and I hope and I lean on. And that is the only reason I believe that I am standing right here today. It's been a traumatic four years, a mix of deep gut-wrenching loss, questioning what's next, and rediscovering her why. Tell me about Tia Coleman. Who is she? Where is she going? She is a very outgoing, optimistic person, full of life, who loves people, who's quirky and she's weird, um, and she embraces all of it. I don't really fit in a box, and I'm okay with that. I'm, what did we say? I'm a square and I can't fit in with the circles. So it's, it's okay, I'm all, I'm all right with that. She is an amazing woman. Tia is setting up a new website on her new passion of connecting with people and groups across the country. Tonight on the News at 6 here on WRTV, we continue our walk with Tia. She discusses what healing looks like after that traumatic loss and why this past October marked a major milestone. That story continues tonight again right here on the News at 6.